It's finally here, everyone. Starkeel Creation Kit has finally been released. And we are at last at the point where we can bring Fallout and Skyrim level mods into Starfield's open world. This is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today I will provide you with what you need to start making amazing stuff and unlock Starfield's potential. For this video, we'll see how to install the Starfield Creation Kit, launch it and make our mod, load the resources that we'll need, make our new weapon, edit a few stats, and then package it so it can be uploaded to Nexus Mods, getting you some exposure for your creation. Exciting, right? If you have any questions along the way, leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. For step one, we need to install the Starfield Creation Kit. Search for Starfield Creation Kit on Steam and to add it to your library. Then install it and that's it. For step two, you need to launch the Creation Kit. I'm assuming you already have Starfield installed, which is mandatory. When you launch it for the first time, it will take a little bit of time for everything to load up. This will fortunately only happen the first time. For step three, you need to create your plugin. Go to File, Save Plugin, then save your mod as desired, which in this case will be Armageddon underscore weapon dot ESP. For step four, we need to load in the Starfield game data, so we'll have the appropriate assets that we need to edit to create our mod. Go to File, Data, and select Starfield.ESM so there's a checkbox right next to it. The plugin that you're making should be set as the active file, but if not, there's a button there that you can use to make it that way. Then click OK. It'll take a little while for everything to load up. Now we are ready to get going on making our mod. For step five, click items in the object window to expand the category and then select weapons. You can also search for a specific weapon using the item filter. In our case, we want the negotiator, which is coded as rocket launch. Once you find your desired item, right click on it and select duplicate and rename, making only one duplicate for this video. For step six, we want to rename your item so we can find it more easily using console commands in game. Double click on your rocket launcher 001 entry and then edit the ID to be something a little bit more unique, like Armageddon. I also named the weapon to be the Armageddon, so we can distinguish between it and the negotiator in game. Now we get to have fun and get to edit a few fields to make our weapon very unique. In our case, I want to make the rocket launcher automatic and I want to have be able to hold more rockets. So I go to the firing tab and change the firing type to automatic. And for the ammo capacity, I go to the ammunition tab and change the ammo capacity to 20. For step seven, it is finally time to test our mod. Save what you have and launch Starfield and get into the game beyond the tutorial. Your mod will already be in the appropriate folder for testing. Placing the custom weapon in the game world is really its own video. We're gonna give it to ourselves here using console commands. Press the tilde key and type help Armageddon. This will list all the assets in the game that contain that substring. And you can use it for anything that you want, including the amp. And it'll make finding whatever you need a whole lot easier. With that accomplished, now we can give ourselves our custom weapon and make sure that it works. Type player.add item and then put in the ID for the weapon. And the ID is gonna be those eight characters I show. And then you'll finally have it. Equip it and test it. You'll see that it works great. Modding is a lot of fun, and it's a great way to share your creativity with others. Editing single fields for weapons is just the tip of the iceberg for Starfield modding. But you'll know if you looked at Nexus Mod and seen all the wonderful things that talented mod offers have made for Bethesda titles. You can be part of Starfield's growth in this great moment where the floodgates are finally open for doing so many exciting things. So be sure to like and subscribe to my channel to stay connected to content showing you how to make more of these really exciting things or just learning about content that will help you make more immersive mods. Thanks for watching and thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Starship out.
want to place the epic weapon that you made in my last video in the Starfield game world? Buckle up everyone today because today we're going to make overpowered weapons immersive. This is Ama Dr. Nada and I have been having fun making epic weapons in Starfield Creation Kit. For the uninitiated, CK is the official modding software released by Bethesda, making mod creation much more accessible. In this video, we're going to use it to place an OP weapon in the game world. Be sure to subscribe to eventually see me make it shoot succulents instead of rockets, assuming that's possible. Fortunately, placing your weapon is very easy to do following my easy step. I'm assuming that you've already opened up CK and have loaded the mod that you already created, along with the Starfield data. For step one, select the cell view window in CK. In the search bar, enter Centaurian to find Centaurian Arsenal. Finding an overpowered weapon in a rich weapons dealer's shop makes a little bit more sense. Plus, there's nothing like offending an NPC to make your mod more interesting. Because guess whose property it's gonna be? For step two, we're going to move around in the cell window to find where we want to place the weapon container. You can do this by using the shift key, the space bar, and the scroll wheel on your mouse. For step 3, we will place our weapon box. In the object window, go to world objects, container, and find the container listed on the screen. Drag this entry into the cell window where you want it to be, like on the shelf. If you want to pick a more exotic container for your weapon, feel free to look at the other options, like an ATM. For step 4, we will place our custom weapon in the box so someone can finally answer the question, WHAT'S IN THE BOX? WHAT'S IN THE BOX? To do this, double click on the box. Well, you could technically edit the instance of the item to an extent, which is something you will do to rotate the item so it faces the direction that you want. We want to make something that can be spawned anywhere, so click Edit Base. At the next window, rename its ID and name to create a unique box that you could spawn in using a console command if you wanted to. Next, right click on the weapon that is in the item list, delete the entry. Then drag and drop your custom weapon into the item list from the object window. That is all you have to do to create a basic mod. But I like to make things a little bit more exciting and create a narrative. Specifically, even this rich weapons dealer who's seen a lot and interacted with a lot of different interesting people saw this weapon and is terrified of it. If you want to see why, refer to the video that's linked in the video description, showing it in action. To make this work, we're going to make the box the property of the lovely Anya. Set the faction ownership of the box to the text that's shown on the screen. Next, we want to make it so this box is locked to keep its power hidden away. So go to the lock tab and set the lock difficulty to expert because its power is too great for mortal hands. Give it some Indiana Jones vibes. And now we're done. Let's test out the mod. As you can see, it works great. Adding custom weapons to Starfield can make things a whole lot more interesting for you. For modders or those interested in getting started with modding, it can do the same for others when you share your work on Nexus mods, which can absolutely be joke mods, which I like making on occasion. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to make basic weapon mods that are importantly immersive. Make your own weapon mods and share what you make or what you want to make in the video comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay connected to modding tutorials and discussions. Thanks for watching and Starship out.